All right, Gen Z, you're the new kids on the block. And you're really interesting. You're really interesting to look at. You're interesting to learn from. You're interesting to discover. This is a Gen Z. Smartphones, increased rise in social media. I mean, begin to look at it. But I'd like you to begin to think about the changes that have happened since you got your iPhone. Just think about that. I think the iPhone came on the scene in 2007. And this is about the time that many were born, many of them were just starting. How the iPhone changed our lives. Now we call it a smartphone, I don't mean to, but it started with the iPhone. If we start to just think about the things that we're doing differently right now, if you begin to even think about the war that's going on right now, you begin to understand that social media has played a huge part in that, right? And how we get the word out. So I want you to understand that this whole idea of communication and social media and things happening immediately has changed these kids. How many of you have a Gen Z at home? If I, how many of you have, yeah. So you will begin to see, probably right now you're seeing that they're much, they're much different than millennials and they are changing the way we work. This is a generation that never heard this. Just to give you a little bit of reference point, yeah. There's a big difference right now, and this is what's happening right now. So these are the young kids that are working for you. Number one, millennials wanted, excuse me, work-life balance. Gen, Gen X wanted work-life balance, but this generation wants equity, inclusion, and diversity. Big. Who I am as a person, very, very big. Who I represent, very, very big. That individuality. Number two, the motivation, opportunity and growth they wanted, and, and they still do, still do millennials. Younger people are thinking about pay, money, security, and overtime. This is where their heads are right now, okay? Work preferences, millennials want a team spirit. It's interesting as we're studying Generation Z, they're competitive. They're highly competitive. So put a few games in at work. They're, com it, they, they're motivated by this. They're highly competitive and they're, they're very individual. They're individual workers, so we're going to be teaching them about family. They're going to be teaching them about to be on a team. This is all going to come, this is all going to come from the leadership teaching an individual who's comfortable being an individual now to be part of a team, okay? They want overtime, they're willing to work more, they say yes. And here's the most interesting part, they love face-to-face. -face. They like face-to-face -face communication, they want to see who you are. So they're not a younger version of millennials at all. One of the things that I noticed in the research is they prefer training from their peers. Here's a secret, a lot of them are afraid of you Gen X, they have stated that, they, they have a little bit of fear of Gen X, so Gen X needs to look at that as we're beginning to grow our teams and our leadership and understand that sometimes we may have to soften it just a little bit. So what are the changes that are going right now in the workplace? The biggest change that we see right now is called human to human, and they're all talking about this. This has been who you have been from the beginning. You are all about this, it's almost like you're at the forefront. So what do all the generations want? We can talk about the differences all day, but people want three things. We want to be connected to each other. You connected today when you just said hello. You've been connecting ever since I've been here watching you. We want to be connected. We want to be protected, which is trust, and we want to be respected. I call it CPR. If you can't remember anything else I say today, you can remember CPR engagement. People on your team want to be connected, protected, and respected. A little CPR.